Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can process an image that is basically a monochromatic image in Lightroom and really get some interesting results from it. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to process an image that is basically monochromatic. This image is all about blues and blue-grays and there's very little color at first instance visible in this image. But I'm going to show you how with a little bit of skill in Lightroom you can turn this image into something that looks like this where we're enhancing the colors in the image and really dragging it out to make something of it that it wasn't out of the camera. And we're going to do that very simply in Lightroom. This image was shot in Sydney in Australia and it is a reflection of a whole series of office buildings and a tall ship here in the windows of the Sydney Maritime Museum. Now the image is very blue but there's some really compelling things about it and it's an image that can really be processed and enjoyed for what's hidden in here. This is the image out of the camera. The only thing I've done so far is to crop it to get rid of this slab of cement sort of wall on this side and to focus in on the elements in the image that are of most interest to us. To start processing this image as I do with all of my images, I'm going to start with white balance. I'm going to use the white balance selector here to try and pick a neutral color. I'm looking for something that should be white neutral grey or black. I'm going to start with the umbrellas here because there's a good chance that they were white umbrellas. There's also some neutral grey and black in the struts here near the windows of the Maritime Museum and I can target those. I'm finding them a little bit easier to see when I have this loop visible because the color in the middle of this loop is the one that's under the cursor at the moment and so I can target these to try and see if any of these are a good fix for the image. And this one seems to be a relatively good fix so I'm probably going to just start with that for now. I can come back and perfect white balance later on if I want to but I want to get a relatively good start. The image is grossly underexposed so I'm going to increase the exposure here and it's probably going to take about one and a half stops of extra exposure. By increasing the exposure you can see that I've flattened the color in the image. The contrast in fact has been damaged. Well I can build that back in a couple of ways. One is to increase the contrast but you can also do that using clarity because clarity is a mid-tone adjuster and what it allows us to do is to bring back detail in the mid-tones and given the complexity of this image in the whites and sort of lighter areas of the image the clarity slider is going to really help us here. So two is vibrance. Vibrance is going to enhance colors that are not already fully saturated. And there are a lot of colors in this image. There are a lot of blues and there's even some reddy browns in here that we may want to get access to. Having fixed those and out of order, I typically wouldn't fix those first but there's nothing to stop you because of the way that Lightroom processes an image. You can adjust these anytime you like. I'm going to have a look at highlights and perhaps back off the highlights a little bit. That will allow me to get a little bit of detail back in the highlight areas. I can also look at backing off the whites a little bit and perhaps increasing the shadows, lightening those a little bit and then looking at the blacks as to whether I want to lighten those or darken them. I'm going to bring them up just a little bit. I would then again look at clarity and vibrance and see if the settings that I have were sufficient. I'll also look at tone curve. Tone curve allows me to adjust the tonal range in the image and I'm thinking that this image is probably going to need at least a medium contrast here. That's medium contrast and we'll have a look at strong contrast. Strong contrast is dragging down on the darks. It's increasing the darkness of the dark areas of the image, increasing the lightness of the lighter areas and steepening the middle of this curve. And I think that's a pretty good fix for the image. I really think that the colors in this image can really use that sort of intense contrast. 
I'm also going to look at color. The reason why I'm looking at color is there are a couple of areas in here. This is a tall ship and there looks like being some sort of painting or something that's a bit red in here. And I think if I can enhance these little bits of color that that's going to improve the image. So I'm looking at my reds and oranges here. Now I like to use color rather than HSL because with HSL I have to look at the hue for red and then the saturation for red and then the luminance for red. Whereas with color, red is all together. This is the hue, saturation and luminance of red. So they're exactly the same adjustments, just arranged a little differently. So I'm going for red first of all because I think some of this brown is actually red. And I'm going to increase the saturation. And then I'm going to go to orange and do the same thing. Just trying to pick out these areas to give them a little bit more of a boost. And for this area down here, probably magenta. Again, just boosting that magenta just to see if I can get in a little bit more detail in the color areas here. I could also do that using the adjustment brush. So with the adjustment brush targeted, I could pin into this position in the image, just paint over a little bit of this area here and into here and then just boost the saturation of that. And that will give me just that little bit of a color boost in that area. And I can come through, add a new adjustment, look at these two areas in here. I've got the auto mask turned on here, which means that when I'm painting over these areas, I'm just masking those areas. So it's very detailed adjustment. And I would go through and do a new one and again come in through here in the image, just through this sort of brown area, just where I want to enhance the saturation as well. And just bring in a little bit of a saturation enhancement there. And when I'm done, I'll just click done. And now if we want to have a look and see how far we've come with this image, I'm going to press the backslash key. That allows us to go back to the image as it was out of the camera and then backslash again and this is the difference in the image. We've really got a sense of these amazing colors and these amazing reflections in this glass building. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this YouTube video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released and visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.